Well, welcome to Love Them Knives. And we have a small knife here from CJRB. And uh, I was sitting there messing with him. It's like, oh, a virgin? No, it's, yeah, it's not a virgin. It's a version. <laughs> J1949 GY Stonewash ARRPM 9 Blade. Now you're just reading. Is that a review if you're just reading? What, what, what's that all about? Okay, so I'll just keep reading then. Blue G10 handle gray aluminum. Is that blue? I guess. I don't know. Uh, that's a grayish blue, that's for sure. So this is lunium here, huh? Okay. Well, I didn't expect it to be titanium for 49 bucks. But okay, front flippy. Oh god. Oh this oh this is the um oh, shit. Just Jacob. Not Justin. Jacob Lundquist, right? Isn't that who it is? That's who it is, right? Look at look at the mark here. That's Jacob Lundquist, the guy that did the PE variant, you know, blah blah blah, and did stuff with well he did his own. I bought his own it may be over on my in my shelves. But uh yeah. The variant. And you know what? This is this is nice. So this is his design. You know, that's different than Justin Lundquist, who did the little front flipper with Kaiser and God, I can't remember now what the hell that was called. They did so many of them. And he has done a lot of a lot of uh stuff and so he's probably more well known than jacob but jacob started off doing his own and uh then started having them uh manufactured thus the pe production edition and i got one of those uh from him i never did have a, a custom but so this is his interesting i guess i can see the uh the design uh, language in here. Now talk about jump right up. What is this like a two point? Crap, let me, where's my paperwork on that? It's like a 2.6 inch blade or something like that. And of course this rewards, get that shit out of there, $49. So if you get it on, this is $49.99 and whatever, it saved 25%. 2.6 inch blade. Thickness, uh, 2.7 millimeter. Okay. Um, stone washer, you can get one with black PVD coating. I got the stone wash flat grind. 59 to 61 AR, PM9, aluminum G10, ceramic ball bearing, button lock. Okay. So, and I probably missed somewhere in here the Lundquist part. Okay. Good on me, right? Good on me. Thank God I just happened to remember his makers or, you know, design thing. So, moniker, logo, whatever. So, this one flicks open, front flipper. And I'm not good at front flippers, but I'm good at buttons. I can do a button, so that can that can go. That is not a big knife. Where's a normal... Oh, here's... Here's another CJRB knife. This is 8.3 inches long. This is not. <laughs> I guess I guess we can get that much down. Okay, so where did I put my... Uh, God dang it. My tape just keeps walking off on me. Yeah, 2.6. Eh, they were right. 6.3 inches overall length okay so what were they saying 2.7 for blade stock something like that and 0.09 2.4 i get and here at 10 millimeter at 0.39 so it's definitely slender okay and boy this is just i don't know maybe almost a fifth pocket knife uh not really a keychain one Oh, I guess we can flip the clip too. Deep carry. Flip the clip. Let's take a look inside a little bit. 
Okay, so the liners are not nested. Um, are they just an extension of the aluminum bolster? That's a good question. I don't know. But obviously we have these little, they're probably number sixes or something of that nature. Let me see if they are. Yeah, they're number sixes on there. So that's the setup in a true plunger type situation, right? Yeah, I see it. Okay. So yeah, the plunger. And yet there's the stop. Okay, so that rolls around. Yeah, that's the stop plunger here for getting, and you can see where the plunger comes in on this side here when it snaps in place. Okay, we're good. Not very expensive, that's for sure. And you know what? It functions pretty well. If you like the front flipper, then you'll like that too. You know, this front flipper is okay. And a little button lock. So this would be just a little discreet carry knife. Super lightweight. And we'll we'll put it on the scale. Well, it's... Yeah, it's, it's sharp uh, out of the box. All right, yeah. It, I got that. I got it. Message received. Now... Forty-eight grams, and now I've got, I've got a block because I got the light in here. So let's click it over to ounces that I can see it through the camera like this, and one point seven one ounces. That's light. That's really light. But yeah, aluminum G10, fairly thin blade stock, little button lock, that kind of thing. So what do you think? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see this one coming. I guess I missed out on that somehow, but I figured it out once I got it. Um, let me see this. Uh, okay, so microfiber cloth, zipper pouch, and all the goodies. So you get all that in a box with it. But yeah, this would be a tempting one to carry because... Whoosh, you just, I mean, it is nothing. It, it's very, very discreet. Yet, it'll get the job done by and large. I mean, you can definitely open boxes and cut rope and do different things like that. And then this kind of thing, talk about what you could really get, get up on things with this as well. So, I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? I mean, you've seen his other knives that he's done. Um, I think the, the, the variant PE that I got was, um, probably a little bit bigger than this. I think it was bigger than this. And I don't have one here on the table to throw out here. But, yeah, this is maybe one of the smallest I've seen him do, I'm thinking. All right, well, I'll let you go. We do love them knives. Check out this little version. And instead of variant, it's version, right? So whatever. And there we go. So you guys stay sharp.